Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar. A counter to the counter bearish close in Black Maraboza on Friday after the previous session's immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern and bullish closing White Maraboza. This continues to be a very tense situation right now as the market tries again to exit on the downside from the lower trend line currently at 108.59 of the October 2023 to date broken bull channel which is highlighted in green on my daily chart. Additionally it is also trying to break lower below the flatlining long moving average currently at 108.34 highlighted in gold and we're actually testing the durability of the slowly rising medium moving average currently at 107.84 that's highlighted in mauve as well as eyeing up of all things the May and April 2020 lows at 107.66 and 107 and a quarter respectively overall the market is still declining after reaching up in late December to the harder to reach secondary target X2 up at 111.11 of the July to October 2023 bear channel. Overhead we have the two 50% Fibonacci lines of the 2023 move at 108.64 and the January 2021 to September 22 move at 109.44. So far today a further attempt lower just below the medium moving average and down through the May 2020 low at 107.66. The next support is the April 2020 low at 107 and a quarter. Today actually may be the first day we see prices completely below the lower green bull channel line. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. An immediate countering key reversal down on Friday after the previous session's key reversal up. The market made the lowest close since early January, and importantly, it was below the rising short medium moving average. That's currently at 126.71, and by some reasonable distance. This moving average had held up the market back in mid January. It was also below the September 2020 low at 126.72, another important support, though on a closing basis this time. However, price is stalled ahead of the dark blue highlighted lower time, currently 126.08, of the shallow November to December 2023 bullish shift pitchfork. The lower time is also close to the large recent 50% Fibonacci line for the July to October 2023 move at 125.90, and a little above the flatlining long moving average, currently at 125.63. In the bigger picture, I continue to wonder if we have a late August to date potential cut with handle pattern. I'm not wedded to this idea, especially as the handle is now becoming the handle of a saucepan rather than a cup. So far today, a small dip, an attempt at the lower time, and the 50% Fibonacci line at 125.90, only just managing to make it below the dark blue lower time as yet. Euro sterling. A second, if higher, indecisive spinning top on Friday. And I suppose one can see it also as a second bullish white soldier as well. The top was capped, once again, by the combination of the upper time, currently at 85.45, of the late November to late December 2023 bearish Andrews pitchfork, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, plus the December 2022 low, 85.40. Also, as well as a somewhat unusual reinforcement of the declining short moving average currently 85.58.
This is all a repeat of the action we saw back in June, July, August, and September 2023, when prices penetrated support of the December 2022 lower 85.45, but were unable to exploit the move down, and eventually prices retreated back up. So please keep your eye on the upper time and the short moving average combination, especially as they uh, cross over, were crossed over on Friday. Actually, it wasn't on Friday, it was earlier in the week. They crossed over um, earlier in the week, late last week. Early in, early the week before. Anyway, today, looking below, we have the bright red neckline, currently at 84.92 of the May to August head and shoulders continuation pattern. Whilst above, we have the early December congestion. That's early December 2023 congestion. Uh, centered around 85.68 to 85.72 area. So far today, an attempt higher, piercing both the December 2022 low and the upper time, but then retreating back down below both for now. And beware of false breaks here. US dollar against the Japanese yen. A bullish engulfing pattern on Friday, if only just. It was the end of the third week of hanging around the flatlining medium moving average, currently at 147.47, and arguably into the hesitation phase of a possible late December 2023 to date bullish halfway hesitation. Now, this is a possible pattern, or shall we say, one in interpretation of recent action, but it is not confirmed as yet. Overall, we are settled within two major pitchfork patterns. We have the February 2022 to January 2023 bullish shift pitchfork, highlighted in purple on my daily chart. We are in between the lower time below, currently 142.49, and the middle time above, currently 156.57. We are additionally close to the middle time above of the July to December 2023 bullish Andrews pitchfork, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. So far today, an interesting push higher, the highest we have seen since uh, late November last year. However, the move up is not wholehearted, not right now. We'll have to wait and see if this develops and if it supports the idea of a bullish halfway hesitation. US dollar against the CNH, the offshore Chinese Yuan. A bullish white Marabozo on Friday with a strong close over both the May 2020 high at 7.19.64 and the ever so slowly rising long moving average, currently 7.20.39. However, the move up shied away from testing the next significant overhead resistance, the flatlining medium moving average, currently at 7.22.56. We'll obviously soon be heading into the quiet time of Chinese New Year. Uh, Kung Hee Fat Choi to everyone. And I think it's in the coming year of the Water Dragon. However, this move up is an interesting recent development. And so far today, a further attempt higher, tickling the other side of the medium moving average. Beyond this, we have the neckline currently at 725.67 of the June to July 2023 head and shoulders continuation pattern. US dollar against the Mexican peso. An interesting fourth countering bullish thrusting pattern on Friday after the previous session's third countering key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern. Friday's action was a reactionary move, prompted by the market testing up as far as the slowly declining long moving average, currently at 17.30.15 last week, and rejecting it, and then dipping down to test and close below the flatlining short medium moving average, currently at 17.12.43, the March 2016 low, at 17.09.23 and just test the April 2016 low at 17.03.89. Despite this earlier attempt lower, Friday showed that we are still within bands of support and resistance. Overhead, we have the flatlining medium moving average currently at 17.40.56, the July 2017 low at 17.43.62, and the August 2017 low at 17.56.93. Meanwhile, below, well, I've already detailed what is below. It seems the market is still searching for some cause or direction to adopt. I just keep a weather eye open on the idea of a January based small bullish flag, possibly halfway hesitation. I've not marked it on my daily chart as it's not that good looking right now, but it might still be there. Now, so far today, 
a higher open over the short medium moving average but still just about within Friday's range yet it is still an immediate if small move higher though not far enough as yet to trouble the long moving average overhead thank you for listening this short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited and here comes the final important bit Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.